Hello, welcome to my student support system. In today's class, we will discuss about first aid in burns. This lecture is in English and if you want to study in Hindi, just click on i button and you will get link of Hindi lecture or you can directly visit to channel my student support system. What is burns? Burn is defined as a skin injury caused by heat. The causes of burn may be classified as dry heat burn, scales or wet heat burn, electric burn, chemical burn and radiation burn. <coughs> what is dry heat? Dry heat burn include burn by flames or contact with hot objects such as domestic appliances or cigarettes and friction for example rope burn. So these all types of burn are dry heat burn. Wet heat burn includes burn injury by steam or hot liquid such as tea, coffee, milk, boiling water etc. Electric burn. Electric burn includes low voltage current as used in domestic appliances or high voltage current as carried in the main overhead cables and lightning strikes. Chemical burn includes burn injury by industrial chemicals such as inhaled fumes and corrosive gases, domestic chemicals and agents such as paint, stripper, uh, caustic soda, weed killer, bleach or any other strong acid or alkali. Radiation burn. Radiation burn includes sunburn, overexposure to ultraviolet rays from the sun lamps and exposure to radioactive sources such as X-ray. <coughs> Severity of burn injury. Severity of burn injury is assessed under the criteria depth of burn and extent of burn. So two criteria are there, depth of burn and extent of burn. First we will discuss depth of burn. As per depth of burn, the burn injury is classified as superficial burn and deep burn. What is superficial burn? In this type of burn, there is only outer layer of skin is affected that is epidermis. This condition is very painful. This is also known as first degree burn. Sign and symptom of superficial burn include redness, tenderness and swelling. Deep burn. In this type of burn, epidermis and dermis both are burned. This condition is less painful or sometimes painless due to burning of the nerve endings. Deep burn is further classified as partial thickness burn and Full thickness burn. Partial thickness burn. In this type of burn, the both layers of, epi, uh, of skin, epidermis and dermis, they are burnt and this is also known as second degree burn. Blisters are formed and is less painful than first degree burn. Full thickness burn. In this type of burn, Again, both layers of skin are burnt along with the subcutaneous tissue. Sometimes bones and muscles are also affected. This is also known as third degree burn and this condition is usually painless as nerve endings are also destroyed. Now extent of burn. <coughs> extent of burn is determined by the total body surface area affected by burn in percentage. It is assessed by rule of 9 as shown in the table. So this is estimated burn surface area and as per rule of 9. Entire left arm 9% if left arm is burn in children same and right arm 9% in children same. <coughs> Head and neck 9% but in children 
it is estimated 18 percent okay. chest 9 percent in adult and children abdomen 9 percent abdomen and 1 percent genitalia and for children 9 percent entire back 18 percent for both entire left leg 18 percent 14 percent for children and right leg 18% for adults and 14% of uh, in children. So in this way, we find out the total burn surface area. <coughs> this is also shown by this picture. So both legs are 9%. It is from back, it is from front. And normally in assessment uh, formats, this picture is given and we shade it the burn surface area we said and then total burn surface area is calculated. Now first aid. What first aid we will give in dry burn? Remove the victim from the source and put off the burning flames by wrapping the body part in thick sheets. Start cooling the injury as soon as possible. Flood the burn part with plenty of cold water pour the water help the casualty to sit or lie down if possible try to prevent the burn area from coming into contact with the ground to keep the burn surface area or burn area as clean as possible contamination from the dust should be prevented do not touch or otherwise interfere with the burn Gently remove any ring, watches, belts, shoes and, and the burn doors, smoldering clothes before the tissue begin to swell. Do not remove any clothing that is stuck to the burnt body part. Reassure the casualty and treat him for the shock if shock is present. Monitor and record breathing, pulse and level of response while waiting for help to arrive. Cover the area with sterile or clean clothing and transfer the victim to the hospital as early as possible. First aid in burn, uh, wet burn or scales. Cool down the injured part with cold water for at least 10 minutes or until pain is relieved. Gently remove any jewelry, watches, belts or constricting clothing from the injured area before it begins to swell. Do not remove any clothing that is stuck to the burnt body part. Reassure the casualty and treat him for the shock if necessary. Monitor and record breathing, pulse and level of response while waiting for help to arrive. Cover the area with sterile and clean clothing and transfer the victim to the hospital. Do not try to burst the blisters. Now, first aid in electric burn. Make sure that contact with the electric source is broken or main switch is off before you touch the casualty. Cool down the injured part with cold water at the entry and exit point if both are present for at least 10 minutes or until pain is relieved. Reassure the casualty and treat him for the shock if present. Monitor and record breathing, pulse and level of response while waiting for help to arrive. Cover the area with sterile and clean clothing and transfer the victim to the hospital as early as possible. First aid in chemical bar. Wear protective gloves to prevent you from coming in contact with the chemical. Remove the chemical by flushing the injured part with cold running water for at least 20 minutes. Pour water away from yourself to avoid splashes. Gently remove any contaminated clothing while flooding the injury. Reassure the casualty and treat him for the shock if necessary. Monitor and record breathing pulse and level of response while waiting for help to arrive. Pass on the detail of the chemical to the medical staff if you identify it. 
Thank you students for watching this video. You can subscribe the channel for latest updates and you can like Facebook page. For making your notes, you can visit mynursingstudents.blogspot.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram and join Facebook group Nursing Notes. Thank you. Have a nice day.